joined now by Antonio Madaka, who won his own match this morning in the Interstate Team Series. But things didn't work out as planned for Golf South Australia, mate. Yeah, you know, um, we, we got a half. You know, I think the boys played well. You know, uh, a couple of rookies in the team, so I think they're all pretty happy to be out here. Um, you know, course is looking good, so it was um, a lot of fun out there this morning. Golf Tasmania is uh, pretty impressive. They've got a good little uh, crew they've put together. Yeah, great team. You know, they're all solid players, you know, from one to seven, so it's, it's always a challenge, you know, playing against those guys. And you played against Greg Longmore, who had you in trouble early on, I believe. Yeah, I was um, I was one down through the first, I think, five holes and then go back to even and a couple up. So, um, yeah, I played pretty good and he, um, he played solid as well. So tell us about some of the younger guys you've got representing South Australia. Uh, Lockie Bark, I think he was in our, um, in our junior team. So he's, um, I think, you know, pretty keen to be out here. I think he's just teed off. So um, hopefully he has a good one this afternoon. Now, mate, this, uh, it, you know, not that uh, there's anything wrong with Huntingdale in terms of tradition and stuff, but it's a, it's a bit different to the way we, we last saw you uh, mincing around Augusta National with uh, crowds of 20, 25,000, 30,000 every day. Yeah, um, you know, a little less people around, but it's good. So it's a lot of fun to play in the Interstate Series. Um, you know, Huntingdale is a great track, so couldn't ask for a better place. How have you adjusted back after that sort of time in the spotlight? Um, pretty good, you know. I'm, I'm feeling quite comfortable, pretty happy I'm at home now, so... Um, you know, I can't wait to get back into all the tournaments and, um, you know, get it going. And, and gives you a taste of what might be ahead if you decide to turn pro? Yeah, that's it. I, I'm just, I'm just going to keep playing some amateur, amateur events. I'm going to do the UK-US trip and, um, you know, keep playing, hopefully play some more amateur ones through through towards the end of the year and see if I can get into the um, Aussie Open, Aussie Masters again. So we'll see how we go.